I don't know what to say to them. Tell them what's really happening. A small boy uh, came to me and said, Mister, why do you hate football? I said, I don't hate football. He said, yes, my father said you hate football. I said, well, you tell your father to come see me. <laughs> my wife watches the games and she will scream. She would jump. She startles me a lot. But through her eyes, I can see the beauty and the, the grace, the power. I said to her that I wished I'd never met Mike Webster. That was before I knew him. He has given me a great gift, a dangerous gift, the gift of knowing. When a man is a soldier, he knows what is at risk. He may be injured or even killed. But when a man is a, is a football player, he knows he may break his arm or his leg. He does not know that he can lose his mind, his family, his money, his life. They have to know Mike Webster, Justin Strelzik, Terry Long, Andre Waters, Dave Duason. By dying, they speak for the living. And I speak for them. That is all I do. Forgive them. Forgive yourselves. Be at peace. Commissioner Good Goodell, is there a link between playing professional football and the likelihood of contracting a brain-related injury, such as dementia, Alzheimer's, depression, or CTE. We're doing everything we possibly can for our players now. I just asked you a simple question. What's the answer? It sort of reminds me of the tobacco companies uh, pre-90s when they kept saying, no, oh, there's no link between smoking and um, damage to your health or ill health effects. and. 
they were forced to admit that that was incorrect uh, through a spate of litigation in the 1990s. And my question to you is, you know, wouldn't the league... Uh, we've heard from the NFL time and time again, you're always studying, you're always trying, you're hopeful. Son I want to know, bitch. what are you doing in the negotiations that are going on now to deal with this problem and other problems related to the injuries that football players uh, obtain? Uh, and its uh, impact on their health. You did all this. I know my time is drawing to a close, but let me just say this to Mr. Goodell uh, and everybody who's here today, that I think it's time for the Congress of